In this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a dynamic looking matte transition in After Effects using a built-in effect called Difference Matte which is a pretty simple but a very useful effect for creating this kind of matte transitions in After Effects. So without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects and I have a pretty simple composition here with two videos. So here we have our two videos and now we want to create that matte transition. Now we can create that transition using a very simple effect. So let's go into effects and preset and type in difference matte and let's drag and drop it onto our second footage. Make sure your second footage is on the top of first one. As you can see, I have your media two and media one. So after that, in the difference mat, set the difference layer to media one, that is our first footage and right off the bat, you can see we have a pretty amazing look. Well, I'm just kidding. So now we, I can tweak the matching tolerance and you can see we get this really interesting look, but we can take this much further. So I can also change the matching softness. I can increase the softness and get a much more softer look. As you can see, it looks pretty sick. So let's go at the very start of our second clip and I'll set this to all the way up to 100 and change the matching softness to around 30. Let's create a keyframe on the matching softness and matching tolerance. And I'll go to around, let's say two second and uh, maybe 2.5 seconds further in time. That is around four second and 15 frames here. And let's set the matching tolerance down to zero and the matching softness down to zero. And now we have a pretty sick transition and I can play around with the softness. So if I hit U to see the keyframes, I can increase the softness. So let's I'll set this to around 50 and let's see you can see it looks pretty good so as you can see it's looking pretty nice now let's go one step further so what i'll do is select the media 2 that is our second video hit ctrl d to duplicate it let's move the top video a few frames forward maybe around five seconds should be good and select the second one let's go into effects and preset and type in tint to make this black and white and now you can see we have this extra layer which looks pretty nice. Maybe I can increase the distance a bit more to get a much more interesting look. So as you can see, it looks pretty cool. I can also add a levels on this. So this will help us to enhance the contrast a bit. So you can see it looks pretty nice. And now you can see we have this really nice look. So I can actually use another video. So let's swap this up with a different video. So I'll go into media two and I'll just delete this. Let's drag and drop this one, scale that down to 50. I don't want the black bar. So that looks good. And now if I go back into my main comp, you can see we have a really nice transition. So as you can see, it's pretty simple to create, but looks very, very professional. And you can create some nice transition and make your videos look more cinematic using this technique. So I hope this quick tip was helpful to you guys. And if it was, make sure you subscribe to the channel. That motivates me to create more and more videos for you guys. Comment down below if you enjoyed it. And also follow me on Instagram at dope.motions. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.